Hey guys, this is Mark. I just want to throw another quick video at you guys. Um, after a couple of years of working with Apple and, and uh, the iPhone and its interface, I decided I wanted a little bit more functionality, so I decided to jailbreak my uh, 3GS. This is my wife's or my old 3G. This is my 3GS. Um, I was going to show you them side to side to show you there's no uh, difference in performance, but the truth is I can't show that because this actually acts a lot faster, even jailbroken. I didn't see any differences in performance or in any capabilities. I used Purple Rain to, uh, to jailbreak this. Really easy and simple and really nice. The main features that I wanted to put on there um, were, you know, a different way of organizing the, the, you know, how the apps are on there, the springboard. And I took a Windows uh, theme from Mod My Eye, customized it to make it an Apple theme. But the real reason why is because it had a live widget in the background. That background's live. Shows you the current temperature, where Potomac, Maryland, where I live. Uh, it's fair outside, mostly sunny, 81 degrees, nice day. And, you know, that's a great feature. At night, this turns to a moon. Same thing, if it's cloudy, if it's raining, you'll, you'll, you, you'll get the gist of what the weather is without having to do anything. Got a working clock up here, actually shows the actual time. And, you know, it's a very nice, clean interface. These things down this side are actually... Um, categories. So applications, um, settings, media, and games. Push any one of these. I go to my apps. I need more apps. I click more apps. Um, you can go back to the home page just like that and you can also do the same old scroll. Um, if I go to my media, one of the things I want to show you guys was one of the main reasons I also jailbroke this was for an, uh, a jailbreak app called Backgrounder or Background. You can take Pandora and one of the things I like to listen to. And the problem is that if I want to check my mail or do anything else, you know, I got to turn this off. It doesn't run in the background. Hey, with Backgrounder, simple push, hold, let go. It's running in the background. The other thing I put on here is something called Spot Bright. These little icons here are the last applications I use. So now I don't even have to type anything. I can just pick from whatever the last couple applications I used. The other thing I do is I do a lot of email and a lot of other stuff on my iPhone where I'm typing. And I'm a terrible speller. They got a, an application called InSpell which works beautifully. Just start typing something like InSpell as they show. And you can see it's highlighted in red. It's telling you you have a spelling mistake. If you click it, say select, correct and it'll give you your corrective things. This works in any application and anywhere else. Another thing I like to put on there was the SB settings. It allows me quick access to all my toggle switches. So I can turn on 3G, turn on 3G, change the brightness, see what processes are running, what my IP address is, how much available memory I have. Clicking processes, there's Pandora. Oops, didn't hit it. Sorry, trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time doesn't work as easy as I'd like. There we go. Can delete the application, be done. Done. Um, I found this to be so useful that it was worth jailbreaking. Um, everything well organized. I uh, can jump around to wherever I need to go to. I got spell check. I can run things in the background, spot bright. I mean, you name it, I think this thing now performs way better than it did before, much more organized, easier to use, um, and it was really easy to do. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave me a message. All right, thanks. Bye.